Hey, Vector. What's the weather in Dallas? You cannot sell a robot for $800 or $1,000 that has capabilities uh, less than an Alexa. Um, that on its own sets expectations so high that if you don't hit them in any way, customers are not going to be forgiving. So Vector is uh, always on. He may go to sleep, he'll go back to his charger, he'll relax, he'll just sit idle for good chunks of the day. But when he hears somebody coming by or a door opening or somebody stepping in a view, especially if he recognizes him, he'll get excited and engage. And so in a lot of ways, our compass for this was the interactions that people have with their dogs or cats or even toddlers where um, there's a level of lifelike behavior that becomes possible only today with the types of computation sensors and algorithms that, are, that have become available. And for us, this is building on five, six years of development from Cosmo and before that, where the learnings that we've uh, received from those products are what allow us to bring a character like this to life. Let's play blackjack. Hit. Stand. Gamer has 14. Gamer has 24. Gamer must end. Play another round. So this is meant to be a tabletop robot. So it'll be kitchen table, counter, living room table. He has a, you can buy a habitat if you want to be more contained. So he, he just discovered this uh, cup. And so you can see him form that edge. It's, and as he's mapping, he's building a map of free space. This is using his laser sensor. So he sees that there's nothing there. What's the distance from New York to Boston? The distance is approximately 190 miles from New York to Boston. We're approaching it like a character from a film, like a Pixar character. So we literally have an animation studio with folks from Pixar, DreamWorks, and these types of backgrounds. They're thinking about how do you make every nuance of this character as engaging and, uh, and uh, disarming and comfortable as possible with an AI engine that like makes these personalities and emotions come to life in the right way. And so you have uh, these thousands of animations that are used in the right way to make this character feel like he's a cute and lovable and, uh, and living character. Hey Vector, set a timer for 30 seconds. Hey Vector, go home. Automation and robotics is probably one of the most exciting investment areas right now. You're seeing people invest not only in fundamental hardware technologies, fundamental software technologies, and I said machine learning AI technologies, but you're also seeing people invest in specific applications. There are robots being developed for elderly care. There are robots that are being developed for child training and, and teaching. There are robots that are being developed for entertainment at home or cleaning. And I think, you know, I could argue that right now this is one of the areas that is unspoken of uh, in mainstream media, but probably getting billions of dollars of investments practically every year. Yeah. Hey, Jeevo, what do you want for Christmas? There is no better gift than quality time and friendly conversation. <laughs> but I could also use a new pair of socks. Hey, Jeevo, can you twerk? You ask for it. <laughs> I 
I don't think robo robotics is um, advancing because of labor shortage. That was 10 year old thinking. Right now, people are looking at robots to do things in our everyday lives um, in conjunction with our own behavior or with other people who are working in, in working environments. So the robots are being used as a tool, just like a car is being used as a tool. Tomorrow, the Celtics visit the Heat at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. So I think there's a revolution going on in the field of robots, and I think it's triggered by the combination of three things. One is advanced sensors. The second is instant connectivity being online all the time. These connect sensors can be connected to the, to the web. And the third is advanced data analytics capabilities. Hey, Jibo, when is Adam's birthday? It's December 13th. I'd say that's long enough for you to forget again. <laughs> I, I think the robots are just beginning. You know, we, we think of robots the way we think of Rosie the robot as a humanoid. Those capabilities, the ability to be able to move, the ability to interact, the ability to think independently, we're just starting there. And I think over the next 10, 15 years, not only will we start seeing robots in our everyday homes, but we'll start expecting a lot more from them. We'll start expecting them to answer intelligently back, and more importantly, do things on their own without even telling us, whether it's fixing the room, cleaning the kitchen, or uh, doing the homework uh, when kids don't want to do it. Hey, Jeebo. Take a picture. A photo. You got it. Stay right there. Yep. And away we go. Three, two, one. Should we save it? Yes. Great, I'll save it.